right, guys, I broke down. I did it. I got the Vemorum Shanks ODS-1. I saved up and I bought it, and it is incredible. I absolutely love it. I, want, I had to do a video about it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play through the pedal with the Strat and the moniker, the humbuckers. I'm also gonna compare it to the pedal that I was using for my main drive for years. It's the XTS Winford drive. I'm gonna run them side by side. They're honestly like apples and oranges, but there are things about the shanks that I like better, and I feel like it does sound a little more like, a, like an amps gain channel. If you like guitar related videos, uh, please subscribe. And if you like the video after watching it, please hit the like button and leave a comment and let me know what you think. Let's get to playing and we're gonna talk about it after. Thank you. 
like I said before, I really, really love the way that this pedal responds and kind of feels like an amp. So I'm running into a deluxe reverb, set clean. And this is with the pedal where I, you know, set where I have it now. To me, it's got just that right amount of bottom end to make it feel like an amp. And it has like a nice sort of compression that's happening, but there's no compressor on. It still feels super dynamic. It still cleans up really well. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty cool drive sound. So then running it with a couple pedals, this is again, this is the thing that I really like about it. It takes boosts really well. There's a mid character about it that's different than the Winford and, all, and different than a lot of other overdrive pedals and even amp in the box pedals that have tried. This pedal, the, the Shanks pedal is really like almost a little mid scooped and it could be a little deceiving, you know, especially if you run into a, like a clean fender amp like I'm running into now, something with the blackface circuit already has that mid scoop and a lot of times people put pedals into them that have a mid bump because they kind of complement each other. But this does, I think they really got a win here because it overdrives, but it doesn't really introduce that mid bump. So you can still hit it with the mid bump pedals that you would hit the clean channel with. And it really layers in without it becoming too honky or too like, you know, really nosy. Yeah, the other really cool thing about this is the bass response. And it, it does have an adjustable bass trimmer. I have mine backed off just a little bit from center and I have the saturation backed off a little bit from center as well. Uh, I find that it works really good with both guitars. It doesn't sound overly bassy to me. I mean, leave a comment and let me know if it sounds overly bassy to you. Again, I've just been really, really stoked with how this pedal sounds. I'm excited to use it more live, but so far I've played a couple shows with it. It's been really, really great. And I encourage you guys to check it out if you're looking for something to just really, really be that like universal overdrive that you have. If you enjoy guitar-related content, please like and subscribe, and I'm gonna play you guys out on the Strat. We'll see you around.